And developing tonight, police may have found the van that smashed through a Walgreens on York Road this morning. The thieves stole an ATM and fled the scene. WJZ investigator Mike Helgman is live at the pharmacy in North Baltimore, where they're still cleaning up. Mike. They are, Vic, and this all happened in just a few minutes. The thieves get in and get out before they can get caught and police arrive. You can see they've got the front mostly boarded up here. The store remains closed. The surveillance cameras were not a deterrent to what happened here. It's like someone had took a dynamite stick and just blew the whole front of the store off. People were stunned when they saw the gaping hole in the Walgreens on York Road. Four suspects were inside a van that smashed through the front of the pharmacy just before 4 a.m. A smash and grab. Police say the suspects took an ATM inside and sped off. You can see these are the tire tracks the thieves just drove off straight onto York Road from the store. It's ridiculous. And then to drive straight and tear the whole store, it's just crazy to me. A few hours later, investigators found a damaged Ford van in southwest Baltimore. Police tell us that van contains evidence which leads them to believe it was used in an ATM theft. It's just a quick way to get cash. There have been more than a dozen smash and grabs like this in the Baltimore area in recent months. This map shows some of them, several in Baltimore County, but a majority in Baltimore City. It's much like bank robberies, right? They do it in jurisdiction after jurisdiction. It's about all of us working together, and we will continue to do that, and I know that they will find these people. Baltimore City Police tell WJZ many of the vehicles used in these thefts are stolen, and that's challenging for detectives in trying to catch suspects. They're unsure if these cases are part of an organized ring. Well, nothing really surprises me lately. There's just, um, I think people are desperate. There's, these are desperate times. The commissioner says they started an initiative to stop these ATM thefts. We were able to decrease 58 uh, percent. This year we have 29 versus last year we had 70 for the whole year. Brazen crimes happening with alarming regularity around Baltimore. How can you go to different locations and keep doing the same thing and getting away with it? And the commissioner tells us in a part of his effort to stop this, they have a detective in each district specializing in handling these ATM thefts. Reporting live on York Road, Mike Halgren, WJZ.